Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. My name is Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we beat Bowser, the final fight with Bowser, which is why you find me at the title screen because I wasn't entirely sure if uh, after this we have to, I don't know, if after this we can immediately, if something's immediately going to happen because we got a little star on our profile as well, we get to show that off as well. 61 stars, that is quite a lot of stars. She is immediately going to tell us something. That was a wise decision on my on my, uh, on my behalf to actually start on the title screen. Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. It didn't take that long. I actually didn't save at the end of the last episode so I had to do th uh, the whole of the Bowser fight at the whole of the Bowser episode and also the one before where we got four stars. Please look down at your feet. Will do. Absolutely. 59. 59 is an important number. It's green. That means something. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Only just about another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. We are going to do more than attempt the challenge. You can see immediately, I think it's designed that way, there is a purple comet on the first world in the game. And we're going to go do that right now, because the only reason why I beat Bowser uh, at this point in time, and nice and early, get it done out, and the, out of the way, is because Purple Comets are then released to basically, I think, most, uh, most galaxies in the game. Not necessarily all of them, I don't think all of them have Purple Comets, but they're everywhere. Purple Comets are by far and away the most common type of comet, and there are many of them, and they will take up an awful lot of the remaining comets in the game. Some of them are timed. This one I don't think is. Some of them have more than 100 coins you need to collect. They are effectively 100 coin shines like from any other Mario game. It's a very simple one. This is the first one, which is why they are leading from one to the other in a, a very simple pattern. So, yeah, like I s Oh, hello. Like I said, uh, I didn't save at the end of the last episode, so I actually had to fight Bowser again. I had to do the, the last trial galaxy again, the one with the the, the bubble blowing, bubble bubble breezy galaxy thing. I had to do that again. That wasn't so hard, actually. I tried to speed run it, which wasn't very clever of me because I died. I nearly got a game over. I died like four or five times, which wasn't the smartest decision I've ever had in my life. But uh, I, I beat Bowser in one. I beat the Bowser level in one go. I beat the the bone fin, was it? The, the, the king, the. The, the, the bony fishy level, I beat that in one go. I was I was frankly on fire. I beat the Toy Time Galaxy Mecha Bowser in one go. Didn't have as many problems with the of the Spring Mario. Hopefully we won't have to come across the Spring Mario too often in this Let's Play. Unless, of course, we have to. I imagine that's going to happen. I, I, I fear that doing the... Uh, not going to go down there. We're going to go a different way. I fear doing the Purple Comp... Purple Comets? The Purple Coins... They're not the most exciting coins in the world, not really. Uh, I can try and make them interesting, but all we're doing is collecting some coins. The ones that are timed, now that's a different story. They are more strenuous, more you know, more margin of error, because, you know, they're timed. Uh, am I going the right? I think I'm going the right. Yeah, we go. A higher margin of error, more more things to go wrong, and more interesting, a higher sense of jeopardy rather than wandering around looking for random coins. I need to find where the last ten are. I, I have an idea. I have a rough idea. I think there's at least one of these stars we haven't been to. Probably this one right here, actually. And then we'll go find something else. They're, they're not that interesting. If, if anyone is still here from the Super Mario Sunshine days and watch the 100 coin shine sprites in those, in that game, it's not very exciting. Not the most exciting part of a game you can have. Where is that star? Is it around here somewhere? I would be nice. Would be nice if it's around here somewhere. Where's it gonna be? I'm gonna go find it. I didn't take long. It's just over here. I, I, I'm incredible. The uh, powers of deduction have led me to this moment where I can find the star. Yeah, if I can get it. There we go. Not sure how many episodes are left of this Let's Play, but I want to average about four or five stars an episode and then go from there. I'm, I'm, there's some which will take longer. Some of them will be very hard and some of them will be very easy because that's how this game in particular works. I'm not, there's Mario games, there are some very easy. I remember there's a, there's some in Super Mario 64 that are very easy, like insultingly easy, and some that are kind of tricky, kind of problematic, kind of, uh, kind of pitfalls or something like that. Look at all the purple comets. We're not going to do them back to back because that would be rather crazy, but we, you will be seeing an awful lot of them. So learn to love them. Learn to really cherish the thought of 
getting lots of blue blue coins. Blue coins are not in this game, thank god for that, because I don't want to collect those. I don't want to have to go through to something and get 24 stars just from blue coins. That would be crazy. We're not, we're not going to do that, not at all. Let's go back to the engine room, because there is... We didn't do a lot of the engine room, we still haven't done a lot of the engine room. Engine room, it's hard to say, it's very tricky. Let's do the gold leaf galaxy now. I'm not gonna say that Nintendo were uh, running low of uh, r running low on ideas around this time, because they clearly had some very clever ones like the the uh, toy time and the other galaxy, which isn't this in this game. The uh, the water galaxy. I don't know. This is a mirror of the honey hive galaxy. If that's r the right name, it's a it's an exact mirror instead of like spring or summer. It's now autumn, which is fine. We can deal with that. Hello, Barney. What are you going to do? Anything? You're very sparkly. I would like to talk to you. Uh, blue star chips. Haven't found any blue star chips. You are a failure to your brothers. You're in big trouble. They may actually lead me in the right direction. Are you going to do that? Come out, blue star chips. I'm going to presume. They're gonna be around here somewhere. I, I forget the exact location. Some of these levels I haven't played in a particularly very long time, but let's hope you don't have to worry about that. How am I gonna get that? Fine question. We're gonna hope that these do something. Otherwise, uh, gonna have to get very good at jumping high. No, we're good. That's fine. Getting the getting the, the star chips. I, mm, I, I'm not gonna complain. I do like some of these later levels. Some of them are tricky, but some of them are also very, very fun. So, we're in for a mixed bag, really, for the- Oh, I need to remember where my flying leaps are. That's the problem when you mirror a level. The flying leaps you know you can get away with in the other, the main level, the honey hive level. Something just died. I think it was you, or your brother, or something. The flying leaps which you know you can get away with, you can't get away with in mirrored levels. That's not how it works. There's something around here. There's gonna be more blue chips. More blue chips. More, more star chips. Chunky, chunky star chips. It sounds like a uh, breakfast cereal. A very niche breakfast cereal, I might add, but, you know. Gonna have niche breakfast cereals. Otherwise, what is going on? You're gonna have the, the the really stupidly named breakfast cereals. So, you can you can have your breakfast in the morning out of a box. Oh, I need to get up on here, please. I would like- there we go. You can have your breakfast out of a box. Oh, I need a bee, Mario. Of course I do. <laughs> Why did I try and do that? You can have your breakfast out of a box and look at the, the logo and think, what is the world doing now? There's, you know, vampires who like chocolate. What is this world? I, I don't think- has, has Count Chocula made its way over to the UK? I can't remember. I've never had it or anything like that, so it's an entirely American thing for as far as I know. Maybe a Canadian thing as well. Maybe I can go to Canada and, and I don't know, experience American culture. Do I want that? The British are obsessed with American culture anyway. It's ridiculous. I don't know, you know, we have our own culture. Why have we got to make everything American? Gotta be proud of- be proud of your own culture. You can- you can look at other culture and say, yeah, that's kind of cool, but, you know, don't necessarily think it's cooler. You gotta be proud of your of your heritage and all that bullshit. I need to find this last blue chip, otherwise I will go insane because I can't find it. I believe it's over on the other side, but I think we need to get to it via this. Can I get to this? I can! I'm not sure if I was supposed to because that was quite a quite a close run thing. Can I like hover around here and I'm not sure this is what I was supposed to do, but apparently it works very well. Can I just hover up to this and ignore the ignore the water? Ignore the water! Don't need the water. I I'm pretty sure. Wasn't supposed to do that. Pretty confident in that. <laughs> I, I think I skipped something that the game was trying to make me do. But we got the powers of bees. The bees are are very powerful creatures. Wonderful. You gotta love. You gotta love bees. I my parents were thinking of keeping bees, which is terrifying because every time you hear about bees or see bees, there's loads of them. And and that's the sort of the, not not quite the hive mind mentality. That's just, that's something else. But. Um, loads of bees. It's kind of the fear of, like, loads of ants. No one is afraid of one single ant. That's not the thing. No one's afraid of, like, one single, I don't know, termite or something. I ain't gonna catch some bunnies. We haven't done that in a while. No one is afraid, I like to think. I'm, I can't imagine why they would be afraid of, like, one single entity of a small creature. Maybe spiders are maybe the exception. That is a- I forget what these are for. What are these for? What are these for? I'm pushing them around. What am I pushing them around for? I forget. Why am I pushing them around? I've no- I forgot what these are for. Really have. I'm gonna go chase the bunny later. There's so many things here. Oh, here we go. What does this do? Does this slow him down? I forgot. Oh, maybe it does slow him down. I forget what this is for! <laughs> so many parts of this planet which I really don't remember the use of. 
I, I'm confused. You can tell it's been a while since I played this part of the level, game, something. Come back here, you piece of shit. Come back here, you piece of shit. Don't you run away from me. I'll use one of these weird question mark blocks and slow you down. Oh, I got you kind of cornered. No, I was, I was falling out of the sky. I'm going to get you, you piece of shit. Come back here. Why are you so fast? Can I hit you with a star bit? Hit you with a star bit. Gonna get you. Gonna shoot you. I pushed him out the way. I did kind of stun him. Get the fuck back here. Get the fuck back here. Gotcha. Oh. That got intense. Can I have that star? <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna have fun. This is now a very, very casual let's play because we've done the, we've done the story. The story's over as far as we're concerned. Even Rosalina's saying it's a, you know, collect 58, 7, how many stars? 57 more stars to go to another world. It's not quite that, it's not quite that grand. She's built it up quite a lot there, but she's writing a check that she simply can't cash. It's not gonna, it's not as impressive as you think. We simply are allowed to play as Luigi, and I think play through the game from the start as Luigi, so it's, it's not that impressive. But, you know, we'll get there. It's not that difficult. There will be some star some stars along the way that will give us trouble, but hopefully not this one. We're going after Guppy. I think Guppy is the name of that creature, the the large fish, it's a shark, it's a it's a whale. I don't know, it's got lots of teeth, it's probably a shark. Not sure. Very big face. Very very big eyes. I kinda don't like this level. We'll get to why later. But this was this was the creature that was uh, in the credits, but we hadn't actually seen yet. So, hello, Toad. I want to bring out your voice. Let me talk to you, please. I really want to. So that's the brood that's been causing trouble. Yeah. Well, I'll teach him. You can try, Toad. It won't happen. I, I, your voice is clearly very manly, but I'm not sure your swimming skills are. At least not in the same way that mine are. Oh yeah. Come on, Guppy. Uh, it's a very odd name for like a, a a bully shark thing. I think it's a shark. It's got a dorsal fin. It's got giant teeth. I'm not gonna give you give you a, a voice because I just want to get on with things. Got to get through some rings. I'm gonna race him. Just gonna go through some rings. This is a uh, this is some Superman 64 shit, which actually weirdly reminds me of Just Cause 3 because there's a whole load of uh, basically mini games where you've got to fly, basically literally, literally fly through the rings like hand glide, not hand glide. Uh, the other word, the other word, the, uh, wingsuit. Wingsuit glide through, uh, loads of rings, and they are some tricky, tricky little mini-games. They really are, let me tell you. I, I, a, a game like Just Cause 3 is very hard to 100%, and I've been trying to over the last couple of weeks and months, and it's, uh, it is a little tricky, it's a little bit tricky. It was not as hard as the, uh, the second game. If anyone's ever tried to 100% that game, it doesn't, it's, it's kind of very hard. Occasionally, occasionally is a yeah it is occasionally impossible because there are known glitches that will stop you from being able to 100% the game you've actually got to destroy all the like objects which are somehow related to the government in that game and uh, you know some of them just won't turn up or they'll be destroyed and won't count towards your percentage I am like right behind your butt so don't 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 put a ring somewhere awkward that was the end that was it He's just throwing out a star at the end. I, uh, like I said, briefly, and I didn't really explain myself, so I probably should before people get angry at me. I don't like this galaxy, mainly because when we do purple coins here, it's kind of bullshit. When we do a comet here, uh, an, an other comet of some degree, it's kind of bullshit. There's at least a silver star star, where you collect five st silver stars and they make a star. That one's kind of bullshit. So, uh, we're not going to be fun. <laughs> not gonna pretend it's gonna be fun. It's not gonna be fun in the slightest when we go back to that galaxy and do some other things. Should we do it now? I think we should do it now. The cosmic comet is in orbit. Let's do it now. There are only so many cosmic comets left in the game. Like, one or two. We have, uh, haven't done that many, but there aren't that many in the game to begin with. There's at least one more uh, fast foe comet to do. And there's loads of purple comets, so that that's the problem. They introduce purple comets at a stage. Maybe not where the average gamer, because the average gamer would play the new levels as soon as they unlock them. I just like, you know, keep doing things in a in a dome until we run out of. Oh, we gotta swim. We gotta swim in this level. Oh no! 
But, um, yeah, you get to this stage where, after the Bowser fight, you have a bunch more things to do, but not all- Oh, I did the wrong thing, but that's fine, we should be okay. Slow down, Bowser, Bowser Jr., that's the wrong game. I'm not spoiling a game, you're spoiling a game, shut the fuck up. I would like to dive, please, why, why, why am I not diving? I'm gonna lose- Oh, he's got a shell already! Let's go, speed up and go. I'm gonna- Oh, this is a bad start. We'll see if we can make this back. I'm not sure we will, but we will try anyway. You gotta- you gotta- Why is he on land? You have a shell, use it! Why did you go on land? Just to give me some- uh, Give me a, a, a chance back at this. Has he got a blue shell? That's good. It'd be even better if you were in first place and I could use it to attack you. Oh, it's gonna- It's a close run thing. I'm gonna hit him. Hit him! No! I, I, why is my long jump failing? Why is my long jump failing? Oh, God. Oh, wow. That was bad. My long jump just didn't work. Why was that? That's why you don't learn to rely on it, because it will go wrong and then you have no uh, backup plan. You don't want to have no backup plan. Then you'll be ruined! Then you won't have a chance. We're fine. Because he's only there. Absolutely. I don't know what went wrong with that long jump. Happened a couple of times. Happened off the start. It happened again. You didn't see that, but when I uh, tried to do the fast start just now, it didn't work. I'm not sure. I don't care. Well, let's, let's fight the dome boss, because we still got this eerie music, and I'd like to make it go away. I don't even remember what the boss is. I don't even what is what is the boss? What are we missing? All I can think of is the really good Bowser Jr. fights in the second game. There's some really good ones in the second game. <laughs> oh, God. Less so in this game. Honestly, the Bowser Jr. fights kind of disappointing other than King Caliente already fought you, mate. We, we turned you into some fantastic calamari. Absolutely beautifully uh, tasty calamari. Spicy return, big fire planet, and platforms you can't- you don't know. I- I know. Platforms that go down very quickly. You can't stay on them, so more Jeopardy like it, absolutely. But uh, the, the Bowser Jr. fights in the second game are top-notch. We have Mega Leg in this game, but in the in the second game, you got the Boomsday Machine, you got the, the Hammer fight, the some- Ah, I bit my tongue! Fuck, you know! Um, you got the Hammer boss fight thing, which is really cool, really well executed. I know you're gonna crash into the land! You know, at some point, someone will- Oh, why? You know, at some- what? This time. Please, I'm trying to tell a story. It's not working because it's never working. Are we- okay, fantastic. At some point, someone will explain to me how bullet bills are explosive. Do you- do bullets tend to be not explosive. So why do they explode on impact? Most bullets don't do that, so maybe they're the specific type of explosive round which explodes on impact. Maybe that'll explain why they explode on impact. I- I don't know. Because at least in, you know, Super Mario World, they just hit you. They, they didn't explode on impact, they they weren't like bomb bombs. They just hit you and did damage like any other enemy in the game. So, I don't know. Someone explain that to me. Interesting lighting you've got there, Bowser Jr. It makes you look quite interesting. If I give up any more Grand Stars, my dad's gonna get mad. Your dad is dead. I put him into the fire. I destroyed his galaxy, I destroyed his plans! So this car's my ultimate weapon, give him some heat, King Caliente! I've defeated this boss before. <laughs> I've done this before! How is this your ultimate weapon? The only thing which is different, and more difficult, is the terrain. So the terrain is your ultimate weapon. It's kind of- <laughs> it's not the best weapon. It's- you know, it might work, but it's not very, uh, it's not very interesting. It's not very different, it's not very innovative, it's just slightly different. And only slightly. Only ever so slightly. Don't land in the lava, because it'll make you look like an idiot. After all of the all of the trash talk you give it. To then fall in the lava is a very bad idea. We've also got these little uh, little fire things, which can be a little annoying, ever so slightly annoying, because they are I don't think you can kill them. I'm pretty sure you can't kill them. You might be able to knock them back into the into the lava. I don't. I, I really want to try and kill them now. There's meteors falling out of the sky, and I really want to try and kill these little blue fire things. I don't know. I'm getting distracted by all the different things that are going on right now. It's. I'll, I'll give it to him. There's more going on, but I don't think King Caliente is really as a uh, you know responsible for it. He's not that responsible for it. Not not really. It's just. I don't know. That didn't feel like an ultimate weapon. At least in the second game, you have a wide variety of mechs that you, Bowser Jr., actually, uh, uh, pilots, that's the word. These don't go down anymore, but this is still going crazy. Don't know what's going on over there, I think King Caliente is fighting on his way down, not sure. But it's a bit disappointing that he just hides up in his fucking 
uh, airship for for all but one uh, for all but one of these dome boss fights is a kind of a shame. I don't know. I like the second game with the way it does Bowser Jr.'s fights because it's just much better. It's it's more. I don't know if that's more with his character. Maybe his character is to be a coward. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know him well enough. Look at the light blue. That is the last grand star we're going to collect in the game. We're down to 54 stars, which is nice. And we've also unlocked the final dome in the game. Kind of. We've also unlocked that, which isn't really a dome, but is an important area nonetheless. This is eventually, maybe it's going to tell us, I don't know, uh, what room are we missing in a in a house, in a in a homestead? What are we missing? Discovered a new galaxy in the garden. We've discovered so many new galaxies in the garden. Only four of them left. Four new ones left to do. So that's interesting. There are some really hard ones in the garden, and we may do some in the next episode. This has been Rabbit Luigi, this has been Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, and in the next episode, I would very quickly like to check, just for future reference, are there any comets? There are so many purple comets. We could do purple comets, we could do other comets, we could do new galaxies. There are many things to do, and we're going to try and do most of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.